Hello. We're under a storm here in Britain. They say it's going to be the worst in the entire year. It's August. Ah, uh, well, I'm not doing any riding, so I have time for a little extra uh, video here. And I thought I'd go through the uh, the news of the day. I'm just looking at the Telegraph. I did try this a while ago, but then I was using the paper, paper, and it made too much crackling. Mind you, with this thing, it would probably be okay. However, I'm doing the online thing. So uh, let, let's see. The first story, oh, by the way, microphone. I have actually uh, tried to change a few things around. I've removed the enormous muffler thing on it and uh, there's no pop screen. I hope you have noticed. <laughs> to some of you this might be an unwelcome change but uh, a lot of people voted against that pop screen quite vociferously. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's get on with the first story. It says here Prince Harry and Meghan won't join royals at Bal Balmoral to mark late Queen's death. I should imagine they wouldn't. I can imagine the entire ro royal family is was sitting there if they were going to, wondering if they were going to come and be dancing around the castle walls singing ding dong the witch is dead the witch is, well whatever. So yeah they can stay in Hollywood. Right but that's that's a bit of good news isn't it? Euless Backlash forces met to launch operation to target camera thieves. They don't actually um, steal it most of the time. I mean, most of them are pretty well bolted down. They just uh, cut the cables by the looks of things. Uh, installation of automatic number plate recognition cameras in expanded zone has led to more of them being stolen and vandalized. A backlash against the expansion of Eulers has forced the Metropolitan Police to launch an operation targeting vandals and camera thieves. Operation Eremon is a new proactive operation. Doesn't that sound good? Proactive. Yeah, proactive is always good. Which looks to target individuals it suspects have caused damage or stop. Caused damage to or stolen newly installed Euless cameras. Telegraph, would you like a, a very reasonably priced copy editor? Because the one you've got now isn't doing much of a job. That I'm available if necessary. Oh, how's this for a segue? And I am Granny Opterix. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Bitchute and Minds. All the links are in the description as are links to donation sites if you want to use them. I'm on Twitter and Gab as well and it's on those two platforms that I let you know when I've uploaded a new video which might be useful because I, apparently YouTube isn't being so good at doing that. Links to that are also in the description. But the best thing you really can do for this channel is to like this video. Okay, to share it and to subscribe and check you are still subscribed again if you're on YouTube. All right, this uh, Operation Eremon uh, comes as the number of Euler's cameras being targeted increased since the start of the year as part of a protest against the Mayor's installation of automatic number plate recognition cameras in the expanded zone. Now, ordinary British people tend not to do vandalism. I know you've got the JSO people and stuff like that, but we'll see what happened with Greenpeace soon. But this is a growing trend. And uh, in this case, I think there might be some people who will recognize this, the idea that when a tax is perceived as unfair, unjust and unnecessary, then the people have the right to do something about it. And the ULES is a tax on driving. So 
I'm in two minds. I mean, certainly people shouldn't be cutting government equipment. But on the other hand, if the government is seen as dictatorial and unfair, well, what do you do? It's a difficult one. I'm not going to come down on one side or the other. Right, next thing. Uh, replace bearskin caps with faux fur. SNP MPs demand the SNP being the Scottish National Party. Now, it's they've called for black hats to be changed to modern humane alternatives as the Royal Edinburgh military tattoo begins. I don't know what the lifetime of these hats is, but I suspect it could be over a hundred years. Because, you know, fur coats and anything like that, well taken care of, just lasts and lasts. So telling these soldiers to ditch these in favour of, well, microfiber or whatever, which is made out of oil, by the way, uh, maybe that's not such a good idea. The animals are dead by now anyway. But there is another side to this. Apparently, the British Army has already tried to change these uh, bearskin hats for something uh, that D doesn't involve killing an animal and the problem is there isn't anything they've found that does the same job well when you come to think of it evolution came up with the best way to protect bears from the weather didn't it and it took evolution millions of years uh, why should human beings be able to do it in a couple of years uh, relatively speaking Bearskin caps worn by performers at the Royal Edinburgh Military Tattoo clash with Scottish morals and must be replaced with fake fur. Nationalist MPs have demanded. No, not nationalist MPs, stupid MPs with an axe to grind. Uh, they, these uh, bearskin hats are passed down from generation to generation, I believe. I actually saw one and they're very cleverly designed. Uh, the, the the cap itself is 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 up there like that and then it's held on the head with a, a, a sort of basket work cap which is very light and uh, um it keeps you cool <laughs> basically that's what it does it provided uh, you know what 10 gallon hats in the old west did well, they provided a way of collecting water if you happen to need that. But there was another another thing. They provided a an air, um, a point at which air, warm air from your head could rise at the same time as protecting you from the sun. And that's exactly what a bearskin hat does. So uh, these guys are all in favour of, yeah, exchanging it for something better oh i don't know what is better but uh, uh, exchange it anyway we have this magical idea that if you really want something like that it's going to happen well it isn't okay and then they claim that scottish people's morals and values are not reflected in the use of the current ornamental caps made from the fur of slaughtered canadian bears yeah i'm sure most uh, Scots are vegetarians who never wear leather shoes. Well, according to these guys, that's what they are. But according to my Scottish relatives, no. OK, what's next on the list? And next on the list, we're back to Greenpeace. And again, a bunch of idealistic nitwits. They went to Rishi Sunak's private home and they invaded it. Uh, he wasn't there. Uh, the... Uh, the spokesman I saw being interviewed or justifying what uh, what they'd done, she said they checked that there was no one there, so no one would be disturbed. Yeah, but how do they know? How many times have you heard? I mean, this is an extreme case, of course. I'm not likening these uh, Greenpeace to uh, mafia guys or gang members, but how many times have gang members gone to the homes of perfectly innocent people and either beaten them up, trashed the house or shot somebody uh, because they'd got the wrong address? Even the police have got the wrong address on occasions and have been quite violent with people they thought were terrorists who happened to be just ordinary citizens uh, living unluckily in a number that resemble the one the police were supposed to go to. 
Uh, Teresa Coffey orders DEFRA to seize engagement with Greenpeace. DEFRA is the Department for the Environment. Uh, actually, I don't know what the rest stands for, but you get the idea. And they apparently have some sort of interchange with Greenpeace. And now and no longer Teresa Coffey, who is the Environment Secretary, has told DEFRA to uh, be not at home when uh, when Greenpeace comes to call. The Environment Secretary has ceased all engagement by her department with Greenpeace after activists staged a stunt at Rishi Sunak's house. As it emerged, two ministers have met representatives from the charity in the past year. Theresa Coffey told officials to cancel any planned meetings with the pressure group on Friday after activists provoked a furious backlash by targeting the Prime Minister's home while he was on holiday with his family. The interesting thing here is, of course, the government really got into action when the Prime Minister's home was uh, interfered with by Greenpeace, when Just Stop Oil people interfere with ordinary people trying to get to work or indeed to the hospital, their reaction has been somewhat slower. Well, now they know how it feels and the dangers. Of course, it could be dangerous. If they, they can always rationalise that it's very dangerous because Greenpeace may have perfectly peaceful ideas, but if some sort of a a foreign agent or not necessarily foreign but somebody of ill intent manages to get in there then that could be very dangerous for the Prime Minister but then as I say it could be dangerous for people trying to get to work with Just Stop Oil stopping them from going or uh, even worse going to the hospital so I am in many ways glad that Greenpeace did what they did because that caught the attention of the government. But my question is, why did it take the government so long to react when they weren't the ones who were involved? So I hope the sound is uh, getting better. My problem with this microphone is First of all, it's a very professional one, and I'm not very professional. Secondly, it would require a lot of cable swapping and uh, peripheral, and I, I can't afford all that sort of stuff. Even if I had the time for all that sort of experimentation. So there is going to be always a bit of a problem, but in general, I hope my sound is at least as good as most others. Of, uh, of us amateur broadcasters, podcasters, or whatever. Anyway, yeah, that's the news on Saturday. Till that, I can, I can, I can wave now, can't I? Till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grembo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.